Uh -huh. Hi everybody, this is uh, Grandma Diane. We are at um, Cottage Grove United Church of Christ today to do our story time. I'm here um, in their library trying out um, how this works. Uh, they have much better Wi-Fi than I do at home, so that's why we thought we'd come here for the day and give it a try and see what happens. So welcome to Grandma Diane's story time on Monday. <clears throat> Today we're going to read a new book and it is called You Get What You Get. Interesting, right? You get what you get. <laughs> and it's written by Julia Gassman and it's illustrated by Sarah Horn. And this little guy in the back says, this was all I get? Interesting. Let's read the story. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. You Get What You Get by Julie Gassman, illustrated by Sarah Horn. He's an interesting character, isn't he? Ah, cool and pen pages, too. To my dad, Amos, you get what you get, and I'm so thankful I got you. J.G. You get what you get. Look at this bookshelf is even going crooked. <laughs> Can you get the whole picture in? Can you get what you get? Yep. <laughs> Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. Boy, that's a big word. Disappointment. And this must be Melvin. If his cookie had half as many chocolate chips as his sister's, look out. If he lost his turn during a game, stand back. Look at them. They all look pretty upset about him. And if he didn't get exactly what he wanted, well, you know. Look at him jumping up and down on his backpack. Sorry, Melvin, they were out of dinosaur backpacks. Looks like he has a robot one instead. No, Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. And this is why he hated his teacher's favorite rule. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's an interesting rule. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> because of this rule, Melvin could not throw a fit if he had to use crayons instead of markers. He doesn't look very happy though, does he? He's doing it, but he doesn't look very happy. He could not throw a fit if he ended up last in line. So he's not happy, but he's doing it. He couldn't even throw a fit if his napkin was pink instead of green. Oh well, mumbled Melvin, at least I can still throw a fit at home. My family doesn't know a thing about that terrible rule. But that night, when it was Melvin's turn to choose the movie, things changed. As soon as he'd chosen Dinosaur Rumbo, his sister stomped her foot and whined. But I want to watch a pony called Trouble. Oh, dear. It doesn't look like it's going over very well, does it? Too bad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, said Melvin. Everyone stopped and looked at Melvin. Oh, are they all surprised or what? What did you say? asked Dad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, repeated Melvin. So if your cookie only has a few chocolate chips, you shouldn't throw a fit, asked his sister. And if you lose a turn during a game, you shouldn't throw a fit, asked his dad. 
And if the dinosaur backpacks are all sold out, you should be happy with the robot one, and you absolutely should not throw a fit? Asked his mom. Melvin gulped. There was no way to take it back. Everyone knew. Oh, dear. And Melvin spilled the beans, didn't he? Well, I mean, at school you shouldn't throw a fit, because that's the rule. But at home you can, he said. Mm. I think that sounds like a good rule for at home, too, said Dad. I agree, said Mom. Home and school, that's the rule, his sister chanted. Melvin wanted to cry. He wanted to shout. He wanted to lie down on the ground and throw his arms and legs about. But he didn't. After all, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So here they are, all happy at home, watching a pony called Trouble. And nobody's throwing a fit. So that's, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Interesting story. Maybe that's a, a rule you should have at home, too. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. When I was teaching first grade, um, I should have had that rule as well. I kind of did, in a way. Um, when we'd pass out, like, popsicles or something, I'd say... I just get the color that I'm giving you. If you want to trade with a friend, you can. But I don't want to hear any whining or complaining about what color you get. So it was kind of like that rule, wasn't it? Well, that's our story time for today. The sun is shining. It's a good day to get outside and get some exercise. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you tomorrow on Grandma Diane Storytime.